Greetings, mortals of Con Bravo. Diva from Musical Hell here, broadcasting from an expansion shelf between the third and fourth circles to bring all you white and nerdies my top five geek musicals on film. To all the ass hat jocks who beat me up in school, now I'm the one that's cool. Number five, Labyrinth. Maybe it's the wonderfully weird and oh-so-80s production design. Maybe it's Jim Henson and the Creature Shop working at the top of their game. Maybe it's the fact that David Bowie kick-started the sexual awakening of an entire generation of geek girls. Not to mention a ton of inescapable internet memes. You were at the bay. Oh, don't you start. For whatever reason, this song and dance magic dance fable about growing up and taking responsibility is arguably the most popular cult musical that doesn't involve Tim Curry in a corset. It's gorgeous to look at, fun to listen to, and contains some intriguing psychological undercurrents. Just try to forget the 25-year age difference in this scene. Number 4. The Nightmare Before Christmas Yeah, it's been over-merchandised by the folks at Disney and Hot Topic, but look past the overabundance of Jack Skellington hoodies, and this is a creepily charming look at what happens when holidays collide. Danny Elfman is in fine form with the music, particularly the gleefully morbid This Is Halloween, and the stop-motion animation is eerily beautiful. And the movie's message is a good one for geeks. We don't always get the world, and the world doesn't always get us. But it's all good, so just embrace who you are. Everybody say it with him now. I am the Pumpkin King! To all the ass hat jocks who beat me up in school. Number 3. Reefer Madness the Musical this is more than just a tongue-in-cheek musical version of a cult movie classic, though it succeeds on that level, too. Through Alan Cummings' sinister turn as the lecturer, it explores how propaganda is used to influence thinking and crush dissent. Like the best subversive material, it's funny and thought-provoking. You laugh at the over-the-top cautionary tale of how every evil thing in the world derives from smoking pot, and then you shudder at how the lecturer gets his audience to swallow that message. And the song and dance numbers are so memorably absurd. Credit where it's due. The opposition's kid has a good set of pipes on him. Jimmy, Jimmy. don't turn your back on God. Number two, Little Shop of Horrors. Speaking of tongue-in-cheek musicals based on cult films, this is the most famous and best of the lot. Yes, even with the tacked-on at the last minute happy ending. Director Frank Oz has a way with presenting the songs in an interesting and dramatically effective manner, something which is a lot harder than it sounds. Just ask Christopher Columbus. And for all the silliness, there's real heart to this movie. Songs like Skid Row and Somewhere That's Green tap into the character's deep longing for a better life. It's got a solid star-filled cast, awesome puppetry for the man-eating plant, and one of the best Alan Menken scores out there. All this during a time when very few live-action movie musicals were being made, and even fewer of them were good, which makes Little Shop of Horrors a rare gem indeed. To all the ass -hat jocks who beat me up in school. And my number one geek musical? Dr. Horrible's Sing-Along Blog. Joss Whedon, Neil Patrick Harris, Felicia Day, Nathan Fillion, how much more geek cred do you need? The best thing to come out of the 2007 WGA strike, you know, apart from the whole increased compensation thing, Dr. Horrible is a low-budget, 40-minute exercise in musical perfection. It starts off as a light superhero satire, but gradually deepens before plunging into a heartbreaking tragedy. That sounds like it shouldn't work, but it does in no small part because of Harris, who takes the title character from a shy, well-meaning rebel against the system to someone with a genuine darkness about him. The score is awesome, the cast is awesome, there isn't a single thing about this movie that doesn't work. It's not only the best geek musical, it's probably the best movie musical of the 21st century, period. And that's just one more reason to sing your lungs out while letting your geek flag fly. 